focus on the who, not the how. Dan Sullivan, CEO of Strategic Coach, has taught me a really, really powerful shortcut, and I want to share that with you. As a fellow entrepreneur, one of the challenges that I so often face is when I encounter something in my business, a, a new issue, or a challenge that I'm trying to get through, one of the things I've started to ask myself is, how do I solve this problem? And you've probably asked yourself something very similar. As you encounter different challenges, you're always asking, how do I solve this? And if you're anything like me, if you're anything like most entrepreneurs out there, you'll start on this path and you'll start working on how to solve this problem. And you'll encounter roadblocks, you'll encounter obstacles, and, and all of a sudden, as an entrepreneur who's, who's driven by momentum, you'll start to hit roadblocks and it'll start to slow you down because you don't know how to solve a specific issue in your business. And this has plagued me for years. And it's something I used to really, really struggle with. I'd want to get something done and I'd hit those roadblocks and then all of a sudden I'm off doing something else because I, I didn't want to struggle through this anymore because I'm driven by momentum. Well, Dan Sullivan has the solution. And I want to share that with you. I want to give you the shortcuts so you don't have to struggle like I did. And that's to go out and find the who, not the how. So I want to change your mindset. And I want you to start thinking about when you encounter an issue in your business, when you encounter some problem, I want you to start asking who can solve this problem. I don't want you to ask how anymore. I want you to start asking who. Who can solve this problem for me? Because as you start asking who, you're going to find the experts, you're going to find the people, you're going to find the, the, the people with the know-how to get this thing done. So how do you find your who? How do you get out there and how do you find the who to help you? Well, the internet is so powerful and we've got more tools, we've got more resources than we've ever had before in the history of the world. One thing you can do is you can jump on Google and you can just start typing in virtual assistant there's so many people involved in the virtual assistant business that will help you with some of the everyday tasks that you face in your business or maybe you need something very specific done and i would suggest sites like fiverr or upwork you can go on there you can do project work and you can you you can find the right people to do things for you so let me share a quick story about how i was able to implement and save me some time there is a piece of property that I was working on and I needed to get some permitting done for the city. I needed to work through and get some plans done. I don't know the first thing about getting plans done. I have no idea how to draft plans. I have no idea how to find the people. None of that. So what did I do? I went to Upwork and I typed in create a plan, right? Create a plot plan for the lot. And within probably 12 hours, I had about seven different bids from people who were going to do this project for me. And you may think, well, that's really expensive. It's going to cost a lot of money. I want to let you know about $125 later, I have plot plans ready that I could go take to the city so I could get the permitting done. If I would have had to do that myself, I would have been stopped in my tracks. I would have lost momentum and that project wouldn't have gotten done because other important things, other strategic things would have called for my attention. So I want to encourage you with that. I want you to get out there and I want you to start asking who can help me solve the problems I have in my life and my business. Take a moment right now, think about a project that you're working on, and then think about not how, but think about the who. My name's Tim McNeely. I'm in your corner. Get out there and make it a great day.